Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Burdick coming at you fast with another Burdick build video and today we are going to be looking at Kalari. How fitting that they're showcasing a Kalari skin here. I opened like 30 crates trying to get one of the four skins that are featured right now and I have yet to get a single one of them. But I'll keep spending away my money and my college tuition on... <laughs> cosmetic items in a video game well you guys can check out the deck that i've been using for kalari ever since her rework i have not needed to change this deck ever since her rework it has been freaking awesome you guys know i love kalari i've been playing a shit ton of her i'm level nine with her i'm always almost got her mastered i just absolutely love kalari i think she's top three off lane right now and She's just utterly fantastic. If you have the mechanical skill to play her, she will definitely do you a lot of good. So let's dive right on in into this build. It's just going to be a build, no gameplay, but it's going to be great. I'll show some more Kalari gameplay in the future. Don't you guys worry about that. So your prime card is going to be Archmagus because Kalari is going to want to have as much damage as possible. With this deck, you're going to focus damage. You're going to focus a little bit of health even, a lot of attack speed, and that's about it. You're not going to need crit chance. You're not going to need crit damage. And you're not going to need lifesteal with this build. Okay, so for our consumables, we have healer token and health pot, the normal loadout, the normal starting loadout if you're off landing, which Kalari should be played in the off lane. She should not be played in the jungle. If you absolutely have to, you can play her in the jungle, but there are so many better junglers than her, like Severog, Chimera, Grux, freaking um, Kwong, Rampage, Crunch, the list goes on and on. They're all better than Kalari. Play her in the off lane. So then you also have the strike token to fill a gap if you have one point left over. And you have your dummy ward. Now, I use Brawler's Ward as a dummy ward for her because Assassin's Ward is really, really good. Especially when you're not going to upgrade it because it gives you damage, it gives you basic pen, and it also gives you lifesteal. A little bit of lifesteal to help you with that lane sustain. It's 2.5. It's absolutely nothing. Don't rely on it at all. It's just there to help you in the early game. Ward your off lane. D ward enemy wards because later on, Kalari will be a moving ward so you can scrap that ward later on pretty early even maybe even for your thunder cleaver which we're about to get into so after you build your health potion and your healer token you can put this ward down as your other three points at when you have six points and then you start going into your first items that you will be building so the first item that you build will be this adam and edge the six point adam and edge just a bunch of damage a bunch of damage on the full upgrade bonus i still call it damage it's called power you guys know what the fuck i'm talking about man it's good to be back with these builds yo and health, a little bit of passive health goes a long way with Kalari, especially since she has that health regen now built into her invisibility. So definitely do those adamant edges. You see, we have a ton of adamant edges in this build. The next thing you're going to build is a Void Steel Dagger for some more damage. This time it has basic pen instead of health. Otherwise, it's the same exact thing as an adamant edge. If you don't have Void Steel Daggers, then use adamant edges. But we have a lot of adamant edges in this build, so you might need to use a variety of both to fill in the slots here. Now, the next card that you want to build is up to you. If you're doing a lot of team fighting, if you're killing a lot of people, you might want to invest into another Void Steel Dagger for some more damage and for some more pen. More power never hurt anybody. But if you're trying to be more effective at split pushing and more effective at farming, you might want to invest into the Thunder Cleaver first. So, what is this Thunder Cleaver, you ask? Well, the Thunder Cleaver is a awesome card that has... A unique passive, melee basic attacks gain an additional 50% damage bonus to cleave, which makes Kalari's wave clear game super strong just off that. And then you have the full upgrade bonus, the active instantly deal basic attack damage as basic damage to nearby enemy units. You will slot this with three minor kinetics to get that full upgrade bonus as quick as possible. It's going to be an eight point card. And this is great because here's a pro tip. You can actually de ward wards with this card that is right as kalari when you go invisible and you go up to a uh, a ward a shadow ward an enemy shadow ward you go up to it you stand right next to it while you're invisible alongside it and instead of attacking with your r2 you can use this card whatever you have it linked to whether it's one two three four left right up down on your d-pad it doesn't matter you click it and it will pop the ward out of the invisibility out of the shadow plane 
for about two seconds and when that happens you're going to pop it out and then you can deal damage with your basic attack and you will be golden that is how you can de ward wards pro tip as kalari use thunder cleaver to de ward wards another pro tip while we're talking about de warding wards is if you don't have thunder cleaver yet and you see a ward you want to de ward same thing don't worry go up to it as an invisible kalari look right at it you got to be super close to it okay you got to be touching this ward you got to be looking right down at it and you have to throw your dash dagger right down on top of it the animation for the dagger the dagger will hit the ward before you leave the shadow plane so you'll technically still see it while you're invisible and deal damage to it and you will both pop out of the shadow plane and then you can continue to destroy it using your basic auto attacks those are two ways to de ward wards as kalari and they are absolutely amazing and super useful for your team people overlook that aspect as kalari but kalari is really really nice when it comes to that Anyway, side tangent over. You guys will see a lot of that in my Kalari gameplay. Let's move on to the next card. So those are your early game cards, okay? You have this Assassin's War that you probably already ditched by the time you got this Thunder Cleaver. Cleaver, not Cliver. The fuck is a Cliver? <laughs> Adam and Edge, Void Steel Dagger, Void Steel Dagger, Thunder Cleaver. These are your four first items that you're going to have. Now the next item is up to you, but I like to go with Stinger Boost. This is a great card. Empower basic is the unique passive. On ability cast, you gain bonus ability damage on your next basic attack equal to 50 plus 20% of your power. Bonus damage buff will expire after 20 seconds. That's almost as long as Kalari's invisibility. And there's a 1.5 second cooldown, meaning you have to wait 1.5 seconds between activating abilities for this effect to take place. So, this is huge. Think about it. Let's say you build 200 power on Kalari, right? You're late game already. Let's just go 100 to make it easier, right? You build 100 power with all these cards that I'm showing you guys right now with Kalari. You're going to deal 50 plus 20% of 100, which is 20. You're going to deal an extra 70 damage on your basic attack after you cast an ability. And this damage stacks up. This is way more damage than you can get from just putting in some more power. And this is going to stack up. Every time you go invisible, this is going to activate. Every time you throw your dagger, this is going to activate. Every time you backflip, this is going to activate. Use this in combos to your advantage. Go into a fight as invisible. Activate. You know, this is going to automatically activate when you pop invisibility. You're going to attack the person, deal 250% damage, jump out of invisibility. You're going to use your Thunder Cleaver as part of your combo, deal some damage. By the time you're done with that, 1.5 seconds would have gone by. Throw your knife, you're going to get this passive bonus again. Deal another bonus damage, and it goes on and on. You guys get the point. This is massive, gives you more mana, which is always nice, and warm attack speed, making Kalari attack quicker than fucking anybody. Quicker than Bruce Lee, all right? There. Quicker than Bruce Lee mixed with Sonic on acid, okay? That's how quick you're going to attack with this. It's going to be crazy. Definitely use that. And then you have another 9 point, oh, actually no, this is a 10 point card, my bad. 10 point card with Adam and Edge, this is going to be the next kind of card that you go into. And this is going to have 2 casts and 1 greater health. That's right, you're going to build health on Kalari. I know, freaking weird, but let me, let me talk guys, hear me out. With this deck, you're going to max out on DPS. There's no point in building more DPS than what is shown on this deck. Almost, you know, maybe you can crank out another one point somewhere, but as it stands right now, I tested this, I saw this, I built all Adam and Edges with all damages and saw how that worked, and you capped out pretty early on, so you don't need damage on all of them. Having health will help Kalari's survivability way more. You don't have to worry about armor as much because Kalari has a lot of elusiveness. She can evade a lot of attacks with her backflips and invisibility, so you don't really have to worry about that. And then you have three 12-point Adam and Edges here. For your last three 12 point cards. You guys know my formula. I go 6, 9, 9, 12, 12, 12. But in this case, I'm actually going to keep the Stinger Boost as part of my last cards because Stinger Boost is awesome. I'm going to keep this as my six point card as my quote unquote nine point card. I'm going to have this Thunder Cleaver, which is actually eight. That's why I have to balance it with a 10 point card. Okay. Two nines make 18. Eight plus 10 make 18. It's the same math. And then three cards by 12. Two of which are fully maxed out with major cast, the other one with two major casts and one greater health. So your final cards are going to look like Stinger Boost, Thunder Cleaver, this 10-point Adamant Edge with greater health in there, and then these three Adamant Edges, 
two with all major casts, and one with two major casts and a greater health. This is going to give you a really good amount of health. This is going to give you an insane amount of damage. It's going to give you an insane amount of attack speed, and you will be a killing machine. I absolutely love this deck. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I love it when people underestimate Kalari, especially my Kalari with this deck. They end up regretting it so, 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 so much. So, so, so bad. And sometimes I even carry with it. I get more kills in the actual ADC. So this is a great deck. Try it out. Let me know what you guys think of it. Love it, hate it, what kind of variations you have. I know some people like to run Kalari with Tain and Magic. I don't rely on her abilities that much to, to really proc that too often. But some people like that. Some people also like Trader's Touch. Okay, you can also look at Trader's Touch. I don't know, why does it say default tab? You guys ever seen that? They decided not to... Not to fix that, I guess, but let me go over to Trader's Touch just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Trader's Touch, basic attacks on player deal 5% of their current health as additional basic damage. So some people really like this. I just, I don't know, you can, you can use it instead of Stinger Boost, you can use it instead of one of these Adamant Edges. It's all up to you. And then Tainted Magic, also Spellburn. I'm going to leave it up here. I'm not going to read it out loud. You guys can pause and read the video yourself. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And as always, make sure you all have a wonderful day. Peace. Guys. Guys. I. <laughs> it's a miracle. It's a miracle. After my 45th. 45th loot crate. I got the purple Kalari skin. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> it was so worth it. <laughs> Absolutely not. It was. It was. I'm. I'm. I'm so sad that I. I opened forty five chests to get to this point in my life. What the fuck am I doing with it? <laughs> it's so. <laughs>